um, I took her hair down, so I'm getting ready to uh, just spray it down and comb it out for um, and get her all dressed for the day. Yeah, I just got off the phone. I did decide that I'm gonna um, go out. I got um, go over and do some rehearsing today. We have a show coming up. I think I'm gonna take my baby with me later and let her meet her. Um, I mean, let her see her Motown family. They ain't seen her since she got her hair done. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take her over there. But um, I just uh, I have a question. I just want to know. Um, I like to ask you if anybody ever had um babies that they felt like they were losing a connection with and then all of a sudden you know had some different things done to it or did some repairs or something to it made some changes some kind of way and um just fall deep in love with them all over again because it's like that's what that's what happened with me and layla um I just, you know, I really was losing it with her. And I feel so bad. I just, you know, I was really sad about it, but I didn't know what to do. You know, it's just like I just wasn't doing anything with her, you know, period. She was like sitting over in the corner and, you know, and then one day I just looked at her and she was just so sad. She just, her eyes seemed like they, if she was human, her eyes would have, you know, she was just really looking sad. And I said, oh my God, that's terrible. So I got her down and just decided that I was gonna start working on, you know, give her some hair for her birthday and just see if that would help. And it did. And now, you know, everything's back. And she's such a big helper to her, to her little sisters. She, uh, she helps me, um, she helps me rock them and keep them occupied while I'm doing other things, you know, while I'm working and everything. You know, she sits over there and she sings to them and just all kind of different things, you know. And I've given her the um, character of the big sister and, you know, she she really, you know, she just really plays the role in my, in my, you know, in my imagination, <laughs> which is really far out there sometimes. Have you guys been listening to in, to any of the um, stories I, I uploaded about Jada? Um, I've been writing a book um, and the characters in my books are my dolls, you know, so um, I'm going to include Layla. Um, very, very shortly here, but right now, you know, I'm still talking about Jada and um, I'm going to create, create um, a, a chapter about Layla and um, I'm really excited. I've been talking to a publisher, you know, my publishing friend, and I'm really going to put the books out there to be published. They're going to be like little short story books and um but um, they're going to be about my babies. So, you know, and, and with the characters that I, the personalities that I've created for them. And um, I'm really excited about that because, you know, when I read them to myself, they're, they're really, when I read the little, the little segments that I've written to myself, it's really interesting. You know, I don't know how I come across reading them on video because, you know, I'm not the best speaker and, you know, um, all of that. I never have been public like that, but, um, girl, where did you drop your passy way over there? But, um, you know, I, um, once I get it out in, in book form, maybe you guys can get more out of it, you know, and then read it to your own baby sometime, you know, but, um, yeah, Jada, she's kind of, it's funny how they have different personalities, you know, Jada's kind of a little feisty, you know, she's, a, she's spoiled and feisty and Layla is so humble, you know, she's just, I think Layla, when I think about um, my own family, you know, me and my sister and our personalities, I think Layla's 
Layla's personality is like mine, very, very sweet and very humble and, you know, kind of quiet and, you know, very, you know, just, you know, just always want to please and, and Jada, her personality is like my sister's, you know, very, very um, outgoing and very, very, very spoiled and verbal and, you know, but very sweet at the same time, you know, the kind of sweet where you just want to hug her up and cuddle her up and everything, you know. There's a 10 year difference between me and my sister. So, you know, she was always my baby. And it's funny how, how I just gave my two little girls our characters, you know, <laughs> without even really realizing that that's what I was doing. Um, until one day I, I, I happened to be reading back over some of the um, stuff that I had written and I said, huh, this girl act just like Carla and Carla is my sister. <laughs> so, and then when I think about how Layla, you know, how I have her singing to the babies and stuff, that's stuff that I used to do for Carla when she was a little baby, you know, I would always sing her to sleep and rock her in my lap and just stuff like that. You know, mom, it was like I was the helper, you know. My mom worked all the time. She was a nurse, and so she stayed busy a lot. When she came home, she had to do dinner for my dad and, you know, just all the family stuff. And um, I was always the one kind of taking care of Carla, you know, keeping her occupied while my mother took care of business. So, you know, and it got to the point to where I couldn't leave the house or do anything without her she would want to go i had her spoiled so that's kind of what's going on with layla and and her her siblings you know is she really has them spoiled and um they look for her <laughs> jada you know jada looks for her and you know if sunny wakes up you know she wants layla to pick her up right away so it's just, you know, I've given her the character of myself and I've given Jada the character of Carla, my sister. So I just think that's kind of cute. I didn't even realize I was doing that. So <laughs> I don't know where where the book is going to go, but I'm so excited about it. And, you know, it's, it's very, very um, therapeutic for me, you know, and uplifting and I don't know. It's just it's just fun. You know, I just enjoy it. So if you haven't listened to any of the chapters that I've written before, just, you know, take a few minutes out your day. If you know, if you're not doing anything and just go back and listen and give me some feedback. I would love to hear what you think about them. Um, and I will be posting the next chapter pretty soon. I had to uh, eliminate. I didn't put up chapter two because I started talking about the parents, you know, and it kind of got, you know, went away from the kid content and kind of took on more of an adult content. So I didn't put that chapter up. I'll save that for the book when, when you know, when the little stories are actually purchased or printed, you know, it'll be in, in the printed version. But okay, guys, I'm going to go now. And I just wanted to come on and show you my big girl um i don't know if you remember her with her signature bowls and things um i don't know maybe i'll put her a bow on Layla, you want a bow on i don't know i um she um she was always the big old big head bald headed baby that wore the bows and stuff that was in my collection and just as cute as she could be then so um She's even cuter with hair. <laughs> so, yeah, she's my baby now. I'm in love again. She ain't going nowhere. So, I don't know about this bow, though, Layla. We we might not do that. We'll see. What you guys think? You think she need a bow? Or should I take it out? I'm going to take it out. Let me see. Yeah, you don't need that. I don't like it. <laughs> she ain't gonna have no bow. I gotta figure out some different. I'm gonna go get her some of those hair balls and things like that. Um, I didn't want her to have a lot of long hair, so I just gave her a little bit. Girl, I sure need to learn how to part. <laughs> but um, 
Yeah, this is my big girl. Say bye. Tell everybody bye. Tell your aunties bye. You'll see them soon. Blow kisses. Blow kisses.